fascinating program is coming to the Van Wezel next weekend. Mark Rogers is the curator of the Da Vinci Machines and Michelangelo exhibitions that has been on display at the Bradenton Auditorium for quite some time now. Thanks for being here. Well, I, Scott, I'm yeah. it's a pleasure to be here. I, I'm, to we're you. excited to a be here. A new resident of the Sun Coast. And, Absolutely. Uh, so tell me about this exhibition in Bradenton. It's been going on for quite a while. Yes. It's been very popular. It's been right? very popular. This whole exhibition is from the museum, the permanent museum of Leonardo da Vinci in Florence, Italy. They actually made three of these exhibitions to travel the world. They made one for Europe, they made one for Asia, they, and they made one for North America. And this is actually the fourth stop of its U.S. journey. Oh, really? It started in L.A., it journeyed to downtown St. Uh, downtown St. Louis, and then we were almost a year in uh, Denver. Wow. And then uh, Mayor Poston of, uh, uh, of Bradenton yeah. sent a representative out to see us in Denver. And about a week later, he called and he said, hey, what are you doing for the winter? <laughs> and, uh, and our whole crew is from St. Louis. And uh, from St. Louis. And, uh, you know, it's been five degrees. It's yeah. minus five, excuse me, in St. Hmm. Louis. So, winter in Florida. We'll take that. We, yeah. So we have actually hit a home run coming here for, oh, for, for, the, for the winter. You, you say that people don't really realize that uh, Michelangelo and da Vinci were contemporaries and competitors, right? Oh, absolutely. He was, they, they were actually 22 years, uh, Michelangelo was 22 years younger than Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. And they actually couldn't stand to be in the same room with each other. <laughs> they were the actual total polar opposites. Wow. Da Vinci was tall and handsome, gregarious, and, and everyone wanted to be associated with him. And they said he even sang beautifully. Uh, Michelangelo, the other thing that was kind of small, was kind of diminutive. He actually said during his entire life that he hated the way that he looked. Right. Yeah, and he actually, um, uh, in a little tidbit about them, that da Vinci always believed that you should dress and look impeccable during your entire life. And, and in fact, uh, Michelangelo was the total opposite. He actually slept in his clothes. Wow. And the, the reason they didn't actually find out the reason that he slept in his clothes until later was that the morning when he, in the morning when he got up, he was so full of his passion to create, he couldn't wait to get to his sculpting. He wow. could not wait to get to his passion. Both brilliant men in their own right. Oh, and incredible genius! Their work really still affects us today, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does. They uh, say um, out of all Leonardo da Vinci's, uh, he had 44,000 drawings, which only 14,000 survived. And they say that um, there's 2,500, there's 2,500 of his designs, inventions, and theories that wow. we use every day in our modern day life. That's amazing. So tell me about the program that's coming up uh, a week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. Easter uh, Saturday night. At the Van Wezel Performing Wazel. Arts Center. Tell right. me what you're going to do. We are going to have, we are going to compare these two incredible geniuses side by side. We have, we have a, a 16 by 25 foot video screen coming. The entire uh, performance consists of, of, of movies and slides and animations and, and videos. Plus, as you can kind of imagine, I get a little animated. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little animated throughout the show. And then we, we, we talk, we compare and contrast. And, and everything that they said, their worth ethic, everything that they did applies to us today. It is, uh, it's, un, it's unbelievable. That's awesome. Hey, let's tell people more about it. Discover Da Vinci and Michelangelo side by side happens Saturday, April 19th at 8 o'clock at the Van Wezel Performing Arts Hall. Tickets are 10 to $30. You can go to vanwezel.org for more information. And to learn more about the show, you can check out discovermichelangelo.com. Yes. Thank you for being well, here. Well, thank you so much, Scott. It's Best been an absolute luck. pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely. Hope we can make it by. Uh, we were going to try. Okay, Definitely. thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here.